Okay, so we're going to look at a level three soleus exercise. So we've been building some good strength, uh, doing our eccentric uh, single legs uh, for a while. Now we're going to get into uh, uh, a single leg eccentric, uh, followed by kind of a quick set to really just fatigue things out at the end a little bit more. So what we'll do is we want to set up in this position, um, kind of dropping the knees, creating a bit of an angle at the hips. And then um, from there, I feel like I've kind of taken up all the slack and feeling a little bit of a stretch here, or you may feel a little bit of a like mild pinch in the front of your ankle, telling you you've reached the end of your joint mobility. Um, from here, we want to press up with two, lower down with one, and we'll normally go through about 15 repetitions of these eccentric single leg exercises. If you want to load this more, you can push with your elbows or forearms into the wall or even generate some kind of like upward force as though you're pushing your hands up towards the, towards the ceiling and that's going to cause additional load down into the leg. Now once you've done your 15 reps, we can just have a little kind of finisher set where we're going to work on moving up and down quickly. Um, trying to work hard to maintain that same angle in the hip throughout and just kind of go for as many reps there as you can um, at a quick tempo to kind of burn that right out um, and that's going to help you to build up a little bit more uh, strengthening response uh, specifically targeting these muscles and maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit more of like an eccentric force absorption uh, benefit to training that way okay so that's our level three exercise, and we're often gonna introduce that um, as people are kind of working their way into the performance spectrum uh, through, through like recovery and injury. Um, and so we're now we're getting into things like running and jumping and sprinting. And we wanna make sure that you're as strong as you can be um, post-injury. Um, and as, as well, uh, often we're gonna use these for people who are looking to build that little bit of extra strength in this area to enhance their jumping and sprinting. So more on that performance side of things. All right, hope it helps.